everyone. So today we're actually going to talk about WhatsApp security tips and um, how to secure WhatsApp basically. So it's actually very important that securing your WhatsApp is necessity and you have to try to make sure by any means it's actually protected because of your personal uh, details, um, securities or password or whatever things you're keeping in your chat or keeping your chat private basically. So uh, recently a couple of friends have actually reached out to me and like, Slick, uh, what's going on? Our WhatsApp was being hacked and um, we don't know how to recover it. Are there tips we can actually provide to actually get started? Yes, you're in the, so if you're watching this video, you're in the right place. So I'm actually going to give you maximum tips to secure in this video. So make sure you stick around from beginning till the end and make sure you use the subscribe button. So it's actually very simple like this. So this is what you do. You come to this uh, channel, Take on Vibes, and you just come here and subscribe. I click on the subscribe button. Subscribe, just like I clicked right now. So for guys that really don't know what whatsapp is whatsapp is actually a, and uh, a mobile mess app messenger that also has a web version now so whatsapp it has over 5 billion plus downloads and um it's actually owned by facebook uh, we all know facebook I, I feel so most people should know that so and it has over 2.5 billion active user as of may 2021 so that's quite amazing and interesting so uh whatsapp is actually uh, an amazing app to use to have conversation with your friends your family your close ones share conversations privately send pictures send videos or even uh i mean make send audio voices and all that you can even do group whatsapp like call from the group or if it's your family friends or family groups then you can add up to five plus people on the group uh, on the on the whatsapp call video call so it's actually amazing you could do a, a lot of amazing functions on the whatsapp too so let's get started to the security stay tuned so okay guys step one secure using your fingerprint so you click on the whatsapp icon just like i did now and you go to your menu bar and you click on settings you click on it then close settings from settings you click on your uh, account from account you click on privacy so you scroll down to your fingerprint so it presently is disabled then you click on the enable key button when you click on enable key button they will ask you to put your fingerprint so it works for note that it works for uh people who have a fingerprint function enabled on their phone or when your phone has a fingerprint function so you just click on it and you actually click on your fingerprint and that's it you assert it so you can say immediately or after one minute so let's put it in immediately so that we can take this function so we go back we go back we go back we close whatsapp so once you log out of whatsapp and you come back to your whatsapp again and click on it it will ask you to put your fingerprint so this is actually very important to it's an amazing thing to do basically to secure your whatsapp so maybe uh unintentionally somebody uh, have access to your phone and actually hack your whatsapp and you are you able to protect this by using a fingerprint so i'll put my fingerprint and before anybody can access it so that okay so step two so step two is basically showing security notification on your phone so it's actually very important for you to get security updates on your phone when something goes wrong with your contact or or your, your own stuff so you come yet straight to your menu key and you click on settings so from settings you click on uh, account from account you click on security so whatsapp secures your conversation so with end-to-end -end description this means your message your calls your status everything remains between you and the people you choose to actually talk to so whatsapp doesn't have access to this thing so by clicking on show security notification it means uh means you want to get notified when something will go wrong with your contact uh contact maybe there's a change of security code with your contact and you need to get notified so whatsapp will notify you oh something go wrong with uh, one of your contact and um, try to secure your chat maybe you clear it or if you have uh, sensitive information so on the chat or something you can clear it and secure whatsapp or just avoid uh whatever Thing that could go wrong so that's air on tip two so tip three is actually the, one of the amazing one so tip three is actually called to step verification basically so you actually add on to your account and um you click on two step verification two step verification is one of the most secured uh, uh security verification recently because it has to actually two things before you could actually have access to your to your whatsapp maybe by pin code or mix of password or 
send him email your email or you know, two step verification which you're actually going to confirm you your phone number and your email access or your password and your phone number uh code code you sent to your phone number and all that so two step is this it's very important that you do this on your whatsapp and make sure you don't forget your pin so your on your whatsapp you just need to click on two-step verification and that's the most secure way of securing your whatsapp when aka gets on it because if they don't know it they can't hack your whatsapp so you click on enable button so when you click on enable button you put your password so let's assume i use my uh, password is this and um it's this so my email i put my email there so when i put my email and uh, i click on next button they confirm my email again i click on it yes so i save so whatsapp two-step verification is enabled so i put my email and whatsapp will actually notify me something wants to go wrong on my account on my email they will send a code to my email and um for before anybody can have access to it they will hack your pin as well too so the email is put in case you forget your two-step verification because it's an email so they can send you email and you can retrieve it and that's it so and um you have to make sure you remember your pin when you're actually accessing or switching your having you bought a new phone and you want to put on your whatsapp on it so you have to learn how to keep uh, your pin save and don't tell anybody so you can change your pin and you can change your email address and you can disable it as well too so step four step four is actually protecting linking your whatsapp to other devices so it's actually very important for you to know that you have to protect linking your whatsapp to other devices so here it is so you go to this menu bar and click on linking um, linked devices so when you click on link devices you see this uh, that you want to link your device to another maybe a web or uh, a web or uh, uh, platform maybe you want to go to website web dot whatsapp dot com to actually link your whatsapp or something but so if by mistakenly somebody um have had access to your phone and um or you don't you're not aware that somebody had access to your phone and you need to and the person needs to link to just um uh, keep track of your conversations your chat and all that by uh, having access to your whatsapp uh, in another location and so whenever you're online on mobile uh, on your whatsapp the person can see your chat your conversation everything together with you at the same time so uh, if you want to protect this to easily happen all you just need is just to um um make sure there's fingerprint on your phone so you activate fingerprint on your phone or on your whatsapp so the moment the person clicked on link your decide they will ask the person for to scan the fingerprint so this can help you to secure it to some extent except the fingerprint is permitted so if the person have access to it and you don't know the person will easily be able to track your whatsapp anywhere else you will just scan the device and um, you will get your whatsapp in another location so that's it on step four so uh step five is actually sim similar to uh step four so let's assume your device has been linked to your to a web browser or another location knowingly or unknowingly so make sure you keep track it and always check that okay i'm the one that logged out on a web browser to the last time i logged out here is 10 53 a.m so i always check so it's very impossible you somebody grab your phone and you want to be keep tracking of your conversation so you can just come here and make sure you just click on it and log out the person if you're not the one that logged in the last time so it just is security consciousness to let you know that somebody can have access to your phone without you knowing so and keep tracking and checking your conversation so you can actually log them out here and secure your website so that's it for now so uh could in case you get your whatsapp compromised do not share your code when you receive a code from anybody saying oh uh there's a code that came to your phone and you need to send the code for so so thing don't send code to anybody so it's actually sometimes it's very difficult for your whatsapp to get hacked if they don't send the code to your phone number so be very very uh, uh awake of that so that's it on this note thanks for sticking around don't forget to use the subscribe button share this video comment on it drop a feedback and i would like to hear for you and if there's any video you want us to make uh any tech videos or any tech solution that you don't know and you want us to give you tips around or make a video for you use the comment section and i'll be glad to look through and create this amazing video for you again so see you some other time stay on code yeah. cheers guys bye